Good morning, YouTubers. I wanted to thank everyone who wrote me asking me for more Miss Beautiful episodes. Well, guess what? Be careful what you wish for, because this morning I decided to create a new series called What the Heck is That Ingredient? This is where I pick an ingredient, I dig into my archives, and I give you the download on what that ingredient's all about. Because this is the very first episode, I wanted to pick an ingredient we're familiar with, so I went with glycerin. We're gonna talk about what glycerin is, what it does, learn some fun facts, and we're gonna get up close and personal with glycerin's sexy side. So we're gonna start by talking about what makes glycerin, well, glycerin. At first glance, it's a stick in the mud sort of product. It's odorless, it's colorless, and frankly, it's a little boring. But flip the cap and pour a little on your skin and things get a little bit more interesting. It goes on thick and syrupy like Aunt Jemima on pancakes. And a bonus is if you rub it in, you start to feel a slight warming sensation. This is because glycerin is a humectant, which means it attracts moisture from the air and reduces evaporation. Glycerin be all like, hey water molecules, where are you? I'm over here. Glycerin is an alcohol, and its molecular structure looks a little like this here. I think it looks more like a crown though, because it has three water-loving alcohols at its peaks and three carbons at the base. Because it has one alcohol per carbon, this means glycerin can hold lots of water. So where do we get glycerin? Is it animal, plant, or mineral? It turns out it's all of the above. Add lye to animal fat or plant oils and get glycerin and soap. How handy. We can also get glycerin from petroleum as part of the same refining process that produces ingredients for carpets, paints, and household detergents. Weird. So how common is glycerin in personal care products? Super common. In lotion, it attracts moisture to the surface of your skin, keeping that skin looking good. In toothpaste, it helps prevent the moisture from leaving and drying the toothpaste out. Also, it actually enhances the flavor, making it taste a little more sweet. Mmm, yum. And glycerin is in shaving cream as a lubricator because it helps get the foam out of the can. Speaking of lubrication and personal care products, oh. Glycerin can be found in personal lubricants for a sexy times. It attracts moisture to prevent chafing of the um, goodie bits, and it helps reduce evaporation, which can leave a body feeling ooh, cold. So you think glycerin is just in personal care products and cosmetics? Nope. It turns out it can be found in bizarre places like antifreeze, ice cream, and dynamite. Kaboom! So why don't we use glycerin in everything? Well, it's because in high concentrations, it can be a little sticky. The good news is that glycerin isn't the only humectant on the block. There are also other ingredients out there like propylene glycol, sodium lactate, sorbitol, and panthenol. So that's it for today's ingredient. If you have an ingredient you want me to talk about, then write me at askmeatmissbeautiful.com. The next ingredient I talk about could be the one that you requested. See you later.